are those guys? The old man hired you. I am not for hire. <laughs> This was a partnership. I told you, when you're ready. You got I'm Max Keller. This is how I'm spending my mornings now. I don't do high wire acts, rolling barrels, or put on big red putty noses. Not unless your ninja warrior intends on infiltrating Barnum and Bailey's. Concentrate. He always listens to me. What's that? The silken cord. I've had enough for one lesson. I figure the chances of having a tightrope in San Francisco are slim. Come on, lighten up. We're going to have fun and find your daughter at the same time. Maybe this time, Terry. <laughs> Four in the morning and it's still jumping. What do you think of that? That's Kelly Patterson. She was the girl standing next to your daughter in the newspaper photograph. The old man runs this place. I'll try and catch her after this dance. We don't want to integrate you too fast into modern-day society. All right, you go talk to the pretty girl. I'll talk to her father. What a pal. Any time. Something, isn't she? A true spirit permeated with joy. And she moves great. <laughs> you betcha. Oh, oh Wesley, uh, where's Jill? She's watching old movies, Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson? I'll be right with you.
happens a lot backstage. Have a seat. Look, pal, I gotta... Just enjoy this show. Just a minute, young lady. Perhaps you can help us. We've come to see Mr. Patterson. In the office. Over there. Thank you so much. Next we get in this place, I'd be used to it. You were right to be afraid. What are you doing, Jill? I'm watching you and Mother dance the waltz from Lady Be Good. Look at that lift. Look at the way you moved. You were so graceful. I'll just bet you had Mr. Astaire shaking in his dancing pumps. I don't think he was shaking too hard. You think it's kind of sicko for the leader of a wheelchair brigade to get such a charge out of watching other people dance? I don't mean the way my sister dances. That's not dancing. That's aerobics. Now, what you did was dancing. I bet you could still do it, too, if you really wanted to. So could you. You're right, Dad. Put some hot towels on my legs at half-hourly intervals. A couple of FDR canes. I might be able to manage a couple of steps. A cane didn't hurt Mr. Astaire's career. <laughs> Don't you just hate dealing with it? An ex-hoofer with two daughters. One wheels, the other cartwheels. One is shy and retiring, and uh, one has a smart mouth. My sister shy and retiring? The decade's answer to Isidore Duncan? That's angry, Jill. I wonder what she calls me. Gimp? Isn't that what you call yourself? Hey, now, wait a minute. I took two steps yesterday. I know. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is your audition for the Dancing Pirate. This, this is a blast. Mr. Patterson, how good to meet you in person after all those phone calls. I'm Jonathan Chan, and this is Mr. Lika. Uh, would you excuse us, young lady? Your father and I have some important business to discuss. In a pig's eye. Jill, go on. Watch your feet, gentlemen. I'm lethal with these things. Do you mind? So, let's talk business. There's a little trouble up front. While Attila the Hun was distracted, I saw my chance to get backstage. This was going to be easy. Excuse me. Take your hands from your eyes, you're gonna walk into the wall. And uh, you really shouldn't be back here. Our bouncer has a small personality problem. Who, Attila the Hun? We're pals. Kelly Patterson? I'm Max Keller. Looking for a girl. If the stars were in the right places, it'd be you. Her name's Terry. You know her? Uh, no dancer here named Terry. Look, uh, we're on a break now, and I've gotta go meet someone. Sorry. Yeah, but I. Um... Sorry. I'll just take a look at this picture and see if... So, it wasn't as easy as I thought. <sighs> Kelly did mention a small personality problem of yours.
see how you like this, pal. Here's a little warning. More practice. So, seven years bad luck. Meanwhile, the master was getting us into even more trouble. Expansion is inevitable, Mr. Patterson. Like the roots of a great oak, we take hold where we can. The only protection I need is from people like you. Now get out. I cannot move. That's an unusual insignia on your ring. An ancient household going back for centuries. Yes, I know. We've been told to leave. Let's go. I may leave when he lets me go. The old man hired you. I am not for hire. We are all for hire. In dark times. The dark times are gone. The night is always with us, Master. Here's her last address. Oh. oh, he's so adorable. I don't know how he does it. One glimpse of those blue eyes and every girl falls for him. Gotta learn his technique. So when's the last time you saw Terry? About a week ago. Look, I hope your friend isn't expecting to find Daddy's little girl. She's really messed up. Drugs. So, how'd you get past good old Attila? carry some cute little tricks around with him. Like this. He's just leaving. It's daylight already. I didn't realize we were in there so long. What the hell was that all about? This is not a toy. You only throw a shuriken against another human being in self-defense. You ever again take another weapon out of my case, you be prepared to use it against your enemy, even if it's me. I'd rather not. Not yet, anyway. I guess you don't respect what you don't understand. Kelly's address and phone number. I managed to get that much before you hauled me out of there. The other address is your daughter's. Kelly knows her. She knows a girl named Terry who used to be a dancer and a pilot. It doesn't necessarily mean she's your daughter. Let's find out. But I'll do the driving. You throw the Titsubishi and shurikens. Makes me feel like I can do something right. They're leaving now. Now comes the fun part, riding with a ninja. Being followed. I know. Don't tell me why they're following us. I like surprises. Senpai Okasa? No, a man like Okasa. A ninja. 
You just naturally run into these fellow ninjas everywhere you go. I mean, can't you just shake hands? Do you have to show you can out kill each other? He must believe I was in the club to help Charlie Patterson. Well, what's his problem? <laughs> Tell me later. I didn't know what he was going to do, but I don't think I wanted to know. Where did he go? I'll back up. steering wheel gag was a classic. Where'd you learn that? Driving school. We call the cops? And tell them you were the driver that forced another car off the pier? Maybe we should pass. Well, now you're gonna tell me who these guys are? It's a family affair. They're moving out of Chinatown into a new neighborhood. Only Charlie Patterson's a stubborn old man. And he won't pay protection. No wonder you liked him. So where to next? Well, our ex-hoofer doesn't understand who he's dealing with. He's gonna have to be convinced. Let's go. Right, right. Our dear Mr. Patterson appears to have more powerful friends than I imagined. Well, needs a little more to bargain with. Like his daughter. 
Pick up the dancer. I can't do this. Yes, you can. If it comes from the heart. Who's there? The hand reaching out of the darkness. Sometimes we can do things for strangers. Try another step. What can you lose? You can do it. I make it five steps. Imagine the silken cord being spun out from here. Your key. One more step. You can't do it. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd take me back to my chair now. your good deed for the day. Sorry it didn't work out for either one of us. If you're uh, here to see the dancing, you're a little late. It's my sister Kelly's department. It must be tough. What? Having a big sister that moves like an angel? It's a trip. I watch her every night. Gimps get uh, very vicarious. Why are you here? I came to see your father. Who are you? John Peter McAllister. And you? I'm Jill Patterson, the... Gimp. I got it. Handles are dangerous things. Only once you start walking, you won't be called the Gimp any longer. A couple of those steps did feel pretty good. Like I had weight on them, like I was putting one foot right in front of the other. Like I was walking, you know? Look that way to me. Jill, uh, I... Uh... Oh, Pops. There's someone here to see you. You were very good with her. She'll walk up here first. When she does that, you'll know. You seem to have taken quite an interest in my family. You can't handle that protection thing by yourself. Not against those boys. 
They're more than just gangsters or even the Tong sect. They're ninja. I'll explain. Where's Kelly? The master had sent me to protect Kelly, but I wasn't fast enough. Excellent. I see that your master has found himself a pupil. They will attempt to be a worthy adversary. Lessons had to end so abruptly. Four fractured ribs. Lika? It was too fast. I couldn't move. No way you could have stopped them. Mr. Patterson, I regret the measures you've forced us to take. However, I'm certain that after our initial misunderstanding, the business between us will be uh, gentlemanly. You withdraw $20,000 from the bank today. I haven't got that kind of money to withdraw. Oh, some bonds cashed in, some, some shares sold, a loan for improvements. A little austerity is good for the soul, Mr. Patterson. Speak to your daughter, who is in good health. I'm fine. Don't give him anything. Don't! Daddy! No harm will come to her. Because both you and I understand that you are going to cooperate. You are not going to call the police. And the man we saw in your club? He will leave San Francisco. You have until 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'll get the money. I know you will. We will call your office at 3 o'clock. Please, don't disappoint me, Mr. Patterson. I so hate to be disappointed. Goodbye, sir. Kelly. We'll find her. She's got to be somewhere in Chinatown, right? Many doors will be closed. Few will hear you. All you'll see in their eyes is fear. Then we'll search it from one end to the other. Not by 3 o'clock. Can you withdraw that kind of money? I'll have to put a lien on the club, but I can do it. I don't believe what I'm hearing. You mean we're just going to give in to them? Pay the ransom? Sell out? Is that what a real ninja would do? Smokescreen. Illusion. Give them what they expect and they'll believe it. And what are we really doing? The unexpected. They'll see us coming. Not if we send the right person. Jill, I need your help. You're going to wheel me into the lion's den, huh? That's right. You think you can handle it? Against those creeps? Are you kidding? But just don't close your eyes to the chair, pal. What do you want me to do? Deliver the money. Lika, alleyway between Morgan and Ashmore. Count the money. If it looks like any type of trap, kill the girl.
Let me see the money. Where's my sister? Safe. This is supposed to be an exchange. The money for Kelly. Your sister will be returned to you. You have my word. If I could only get out of this chair. Be glad that you can't. They fall for the unexpected. Guards at the front. Can't get in that way. Maybe that's the way in. Something's happened to your friend. Not to him. I didn't even see him. That doesn't mean he wasn't there. Charlie Patterson. 20,000 is promised. You didn't disappoint me after all. When will my daughter be returned? I understand from the bank you had to take out a lien on your club. Too much of a financial strain in these hard times. You will sign the lien over to me. I will pay it. The club will then be mine, of course. Oh, but you must stay on. Your customers would be so disappointed. If that's what it'll take to bring my daughter back. Have it arranged by tomorrow morning. She'll be with you for lunch. Look, you stay here at the club and we'll both be back tonight. With Kelly. He's not doing this alone. I thought this was a partnership. Too dangerous. Well, that little chase through the streets this morning, you don't suppose that had just a small element of danger in it? What am I, a chauffeur? I told you, when you're ready. I'll tell you what I'm not ready for. I'm not ready to see Kelly killed. I'm not ready to see you go off into the sunset against that pack of wolves. I'm not ready to be shot at, driven at, or kicked in the face. And then have to go sit out the walls. But you are ready to get killed. With you around, how could you let that happen? I suppose you'd only follow me. Believe it. I believe it. You ready for your ninja robes? Uh, still working up to that. But I do have a black outfit. Jeans and a turtleneck. How about a weapon? Hold it. It'll make you feel better. Just don't throw it. I wouldn't think of it.
Bring the girl to me. I knew he'd find a way to get me on a tightrope. At least I could ride inside. It was getting back that worried me. Quite a performer. Dance for me. You're a dancer. Dance. Good night, Mr. Chen. It's all right. Kelly, we're your only chance out of here. There's only one way. How? A high wire between the buildings. I couldn't. You'll have to. Max, get the money. Yes, you can. I'll help you. No, I can't. I can't do it. Take my hand. No! Come on, take it. I won't let you fall. you. There's nothing around you. We are one. As I step back, you step forward. That's it. That's it. And you won't fall unless I do. And I won't fall. Don't look down. Almost there. Now it was my turn. And I said the chances of tightrope walking in San Francisco were slim. With the master around, you could do it every night. Come on, Max, you can do it. Don't look down. Come on.
Almost there. Don't lose it. Master. They are of no concern to me. They can go. Go on. If you think I'm gonna leave... Get her out of here. Go on. My friend, time for you to die. Son! Sticky moves great back then, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna show you the Charlie Patterson of the 80s. Charlie, do a little step for us. Wow. And Charlie, I've got a birthday surprise for you. Stand on my own two feet now. 
You want to dance? You betcha. not get carried away. You're the hoofer. I'm new at this game. Talk to my friend Terry today. She's not your daughter. I'm sorry. We'll find her. <laughs> <laughs> 